Hi everyone, this is Douglas at PCC, and this video will show you how to work with drug allergies and allergies in general in PCC ERX and PCC EHR. I can track allergies in two different ways. When I open up a chart, right here on the medical summary, my practice has chosen to display the PCC ERX allergies component and the allergies component. Now these are both chart-wide components that you can optionally set up here on the medical summary, and you might also have them display on chart notes, for example. Now, these two components are very different things. The allergies component down here can be handy for basic medical record keeping, but if I want to automatically check for adverse reactions, uh, the drug allergies have to be here in the ERX allergies component. Okay, so how do I work with the patient's allergies? Well, for non-drug allergies, I could click edit right here and add new ones along with the reaction, onset date, that kind of information. But this patient also has important drug allergies I need to monitor and work with. And what will happen if I try to prescribe one of these drugs? To work with these allergies, I will click on the PCCERX chart navigation button. When prescribing a new medication, allergies are super important, so PCC ERX summarizes the allergies right up top here for me. PCC ERX is organized just like the medical summary or a chart note, so I can click the Allergies Anchor button to jump down to that component. Okay, so during a typical visit, I would review these allergies. I might ask mom or dad about them, and I would click the Mark as Reviewed button to timestamp my review of these details. Let's add a new allergy by clicking the Add New Allergy button. First, I find the allergen. PCC ERX searches incredibly fast and returns matching results from a huge library. Uh, it also allows me to enter a free text allergen if what I need isn't listed. PCC ERX can't use a free text allergen for drug alerts, but they will appear as part of the patient's record. But there's aspirin. And now I can enter reaction, severity, onset date, and comments. Uh, right now, on my practice, all of these fields are optional. I could just click Add to List. Your practice can configure PCC ERX so that the reaction, for example, is a required field. That's up to you. But I have to show you this reaction field. Uh, as I start to type, I see common reaction details. Uh, another interesting example. If I type hives, the reaction field offers me hives and variations on hives. Okay, I'll enter a severity. I don't know the uh, onset date, but I'll enter a comment. And click Add to List. And there we go, I've updated this patient's PCC ERX allergies record. By the way, this print button gives me a complete report of this patient's allergies, including when the allergies were marked as reviewed. Okay, we've updated allergies. Let's go see what happens when I prescribe some drugs. Down here on the prescribed component, as I begin to type a new medication, the search engine is already telling me there may be a reason not to prescribe this medication. Now, anytime I see one of these alerts, uh, they can be ALRG for allergy or food to indicate a food issue or DDI for drug-drug interaction and so forth. When I click on the alert, PCC ERX will tell me what's up and I can see the reasons for the alert. Okay, but that's just a warning while searching. What happens if I ignored that big red sign and just kept going? I'm going to ignore the details on this page and just create the prescription. As I create the prescription, I see an allergy conflict warning. Now I can click cancel, of course, and change the prescription or go pick another drug. Or if I make the decision to prescribe anyway, I can say why. PCC ERX includes some standardized reasons. But of course, I can customize my reason for overriding this allergy alert. By the way, by default, PCC sets up PCC ERX at your practice to be the most strict. It will err on the side of stopping and showing a warning just like this one, whether an allergy is mild, whatever the reaction is, but you can customize PCC ERX to change how sensitive the warnings will be to various patient or other drug considerations for alerts. What else can you do with allergies and medication allergies in PCC EHR? Well, allergies appear on patient reports. 
in Pocket PCC, and in the patient portal. You can create patient lists and patient reminders based on allergies. You can set up clinical alerts that will pop up when a user opens a chart, providing users with information or directions related to the patient's allergy. PCC EHR can help you track allergies and help you adjust and modify care in response to those allergies. If you're working on a new allergy-related workflow for your patients, chat with your client advocate. We can help you find a solution that saves time and improves care.